In the murky depths of the Segmentum Obscurus, there whispers an ancient tale woven into the fabric of the stars. It speaks of a war, nameless and forgotten, buried deep within the annals of imperial history. This conflict was like none other, a savage storm of violence and horror so intense that its very memory was expunged from the records of the Imperium, save for a few elusive mentions hidden in the shadowiest corners of forbidden archives. This myth, scoffed at by many as mere fantasy, holds a strange allure for the followers of the Fenonite faction. They chase after its secrets, hungry for the promise of power and fulfillment buried within the remnants of that ancient strife. Legends speak of a time in the mid-32 and millennium, when chaos reigned supreme in the aftermath of the heresy. It was then that explorers stumbled upon a mysterious artifact amidst the swirling abyss of the halo stars. They named it the Echoing Vault. This enigmatic structure, perhaps a relic from realms beyond comprehension, unleashed a terror upon the unsuspecting galaxy like never before. It is described as a vast and labyrinthine structure, seemingly crafted from dust and magnetism. Located deep within the halo stars, its origin and purpose remain unknown. The vault is said to be an imposing sight, its intricate corridors winding endlessly into darkness. It exudes an aura of ancient power, hinting at secrets long forgotten by the galaxy. Some speculate that it may be an embassy from an unknown realm of existence, while others believe it to be a relic of the dark age of technology. Whatever its true nature, the echoing vault holds a sinister presence. It is the source of the harrowing, unleashing a wave of terror upon the galaxy when its seals were broken. Despite efforts to contain it, the vault remains a symbol of the unknown and the dangers that lurk beyond the boundaries of known space. The creatures that emerged, known only as the harrowing, defied all understanding, wreaking havoc and madness wherever they roamed. They were beings of such grotesque horror that to even glimpse them was to court death or insanity. The harrowing is a nightmare made manifest, a force of incomprehensible terror that swept across the galaxy like a tidal wave of horror. Descriptions of the harrowing are scarce and often shrouded in mystery, but those who witnessed its devastation speak of creatures so abhorrent and alien that they defy description. These entities, known simply as the harrowing, emerged from the depths of the echoing vault with a ferocity unmatched by anything seen before. They were not bound by the laws of nature or the constraints of reality, their forms twisting and contorting in ways that defied comprehension. To encounter the harrowing was to face madness and death. Mere proximity to these abominations was enough to drive even the strongest minds to the brink of insanity. They ravaged entire worlds with impunity, leaving nothing but devastation and despair in their wake. The harrowing's rampage was relentless and unstoppable. No force could stand against them, not even the mighty Adeptus Astartes or the Inquisition's most elite forces. They laid waste to entire civilizations, leaving behind nothing but death and destruction. There are those who speculate that the harrowing may have been an early incursion of the Tyranids, a voracious alien species known for consuming entire worlds. According to this theory, the creatures unleashed from the Echoing Vault were precursor organisms, sent ahead of the main Tyranid fleets to prepare for their arrival. This theory proposes that the harrowing was a precursor to a Tyranid invasion. According to this conjecture, the Echoing Vault might have been a dormant Tyranid hive, or a beacon meant to herald the arrival of the main Tyranid fleet. The creatures unleashed from the Vault could be viewed as vanguard organisms sent ahead by the Tyranids to prepare for the arrival of their main swarm. These precursor organisms would have been tasked with destabilizing and softening up potential targets for the main Tyranid force to consume. The idea of the harrowing being a Tyranid precursor hive aligns with the insidious nature of the Tyranids, who are known for their methodical and devastating approach to conquest. The creatures unleashed from the vault would likely have been engineered for the specific purpose of inflicting maximum chaos and destruction, paving the way for the Tyranid swarm to follow. This theory introduces a new layer of horror to the harrowing, as it suggests that the galaxy was on the brink of facing an even greater threat than the one unleashed from the echoing vault. It also underscores the unknowable nature of the Tyranids and the constant threat they pose to the Imperium and all life in the galaxy. There is also a theory that proposes that the harrowing was caused by a tesseract vault containing a freed Satan shard. The Satan are ancient star gods, beings of immense power and malevolence, who once feasted upon the energies of stars. In this theory, 
The echoing vault is theorized to be a tesseract vault, a device created by the ancient Necron race to contain and imprison Satan shards. These shards are fragments of the shattered Satan, imprisoned by the Necrons during the war in heaven eons ago. If the echoing vault indeed contained a freed Satan shard, its opening would have unleashed a cataclysmic force upon the galaxy. The freed Satan shard would have been driven by insatiable hunger and a desire for vengeance, wreaking havoc upon any who crossed its path. The creatures unleashed from the vault would have been twisted and corrupted by the malevolent influence of the Khtan Shard, becoming agents of destruction and chaos. Their abilities would have been fueled by the raw power of the Khtan, allowing them to defy the laws of nature and wreak havoc on an unprecedented scale. Now one might sow themselves. What if the Tesseract Vault contained a combined Nightbringer Satan Shard, or a yet unseen Satan Shard? The Nightbringer is one of the most feared and destructive Satan known for its insatiable appetite for souls and its ability to instill abject terror. What if it was able to combine multiple shards? If the echoing vault indeed held a combined Nightbringer Satan shard, it would mean the merging of multiple fragments of the Nightbringer into a singular nightmarish entity. This amalgamation would likely amplify the destructive power and malevolence of the Catan, creating a force of unparalleled horror. The creatures unleashed from the vault would be not only twisted by the raw power of the Nightbringer, but also influenced by its penchant for inducing fear and despair. The Nightbringer's ability to feed on the souls of its victims could have fueled the devastation wrought by the harrowing, leaving entire worlds in a state of spiritual desolation. The combined Nightbringer theory deepens the terror associated with the harrowing, as it suggests that the galaxy faced not only physical destruction, but also a spiritual and existential threat. The echoes of the Nightbringer's insatiable hunger and the terror it instills would linger long after the immediate devastation had subsided, leaving a scar on the collective psyche of those who survived the harrowing. Whatever the harrowing was, it caused widespread death everywhere it touched. Despite the valiant efforts of the Adeptus Astartes and the Inquisition, the harrowing proved unstoppable, leaving a trail of devastation in their wake. It was said that only through a perilous fusion of ancient technology and sorcery could they be contained, though at great risk to those who dared to wield such power. This ancient and advanced tech, rumored to have been employed by the Mechanicus, could have been a fusion of archaeotech and sorcerous lore, as mentioned in the legends surrounding the event. The exact nature of this forbidden technology remains shrouded in mystery, but it is speculated to have been a potent weapon or device capable of containing or neutralizing the harrowing's malevolent influence. Some believe it could have been a form of dimensional barrier or containment field designed to seal off the breach between dimensions through which the creatures of the harrowing had passed. Alternatively, it is theorized that the forbidden technology may have involved manipulation of psychic energies or warp-based technologies, tapping into arcane forces beyond mortal comprehension. This could have allowed the Imperium to strike back against the harrowing with a level of power and precision that conventional weapons and tactics could not achieve. Whatever its precise form, the use of forbidden technology to stop the harrowing speaks to the desperate measures taken by the Imperium in the face of existential threat. It also highlights the enduring legacy of the Dark Age of technology and the lingering dangers posed by ancient and esoteric knowledge in the grim darkness of the far future. In the end, the harrowing retreated to the depths of the echoing vault, where the Mechanicus unleashed a forbidden weapon of unimaginable potency, sealing the breach between dimensions and casting the horrors back from whence they came. The aftermath of this cataclysmic conflict was shrouded in secrecy, its memory erased from imperial history. Yet whispers persist among heretics and scholars, hinting at the truth behind the legend. Some point to the weakened state of the Imperium in those distant days, while others dismiss it as nothing more than a fanciful fabrication. But amidst the skepticism, there are those who see echoes of the past in the mysteries of the present. They wonder if, Somewhere beyond the reaches of known space, the harrowing lie in wait, biding their time for the opportunity to return and unleash their terror once more upon the galaxy.